Right, as you can see now, there's the uh, pigeon what I've just done. Right, and in the middle here is the breastbone. Now this bone is a real thick bone. Right, you can, I don't know if you can hear that on camera, but I'm flicking it, and it's it's about half half a centimetre to a centimetre thick in places. This bone is. Right, so you can imagine now why sometimes you might have shot a wood pigeon in the chest with your air rifle and it's actually the pellet has hit it and you've heard it thump but the pigeons flew off because the breastbone here is really really solid and that's actually why it's hitting there so it's piercing the skin of the pigeon but hitting the breastbone it's obviously going to cause it some sort of damage but uh, you've really got to hit them in the crop area the head or the neck or if you're facing away from you, a good place to hit them is just at the back of the head or between the, sh between the uh, wings there, right at the top. That's the way I'm pointing now on my index finger, just there. So if you manage to hit this bone, the bird's going to fly. Right, there's another woody on top of this roof. He's around about, I'd say about an estimated 27 28 meters i'll just zoom in now i haven't zoomed in all the way so hopefully i'll get the, the shot as i'm falling off the roof if i don't wobble too much oh, straight dead actually just dropped This woody is pretty close. It's at about my first zero point, which is 10 meters. Let's see what I can do. Shouldn't be a hard shot for me. Straight down. I didn't think it'd be a problem at 10 meters. That's another clinical brain shot on that bird that fell straight off that post. Here's the first woody I shot. Like I say, it was only a short range, 10 meters. So, really, with this BSA R10, these 16 grain pellets. It's about my first zero point, so I couldn't really miss, and as you can see, I've hit it here, right on the top of the head, and it's actually come out the other side of its brain. So, not a bragging shot, but it's still one uh, pigeon I've got, and that'll be eaten later on. Clinical. The lads will have to get that off the roof on Monday, back at work. Nice shot. Okay, here's that wood pigeon there. He's at 30 metres, and as you can see, I got in with a perfect heart shot, which just rolled him over and he's stone dead. Lovely shot, really humane kill, I'm happy with that. Bit of a wind, so I'll give it a bit of side as well. Oh, beautiful shot. That was 40 metres, so two mil dots old, old over. And I give it about a mil dot uh, right hand side to compensate for the breeze. Smacked it straight off there as you've seen. Clinical. Right, it's woody. I think it's about 25 meters. So I'll just give him half a mil dot. Beautiful shot. That's gone straight down. I'll just zoom out. And try and locate it for you. It's just flapping around with its nerves at one end there. And get down there. In fact, it's dead now. So look. There's that wood pigeon I just shot at 25 metres. And as you've seen, I give it half a mil dot old under. And look at that for a perfect brain shot. Couldn't get much better than that. I'm really, really happy with that shot. Well, I've just lazy these two wood pigeons. They are 40 metres bang on. I'm going to give it two mil dots, hold over, see what we can do. 
This is where VSA R10. Fantastic shot. That bird fell straight out of that tree. And you can see as I zoom out, that's a long distance shot. That was a beautiful shot. I'm going to retrieve that now. Just want to show you this. This is that pigeon I've just collected. Fell straight out of the tree at 40 meters, lazed. Bang on it was. Just want to show you. It was facing that way. As you can see, pellet, it struck it straight in the brain and actually gone straight through and come out this side now for 40 meters look at the accuracy of that shot All right that's the accuracy of these bsa r10s brilliant now this wood pigeon here is close to 30 i'll just zoom in a little bit so i can see my mill dots better i'll just give them about half a mill dot under Beautiful. Another one. Clinical headshot. Fell straight out of the tree. Okay. Cracking shot, come on. I hope it's gonna fall off the roof. Oh well. It's another one the lads are gonna have to go on the flat roof for. There's no clears. Try and get a heart shot. Stone dead. Zoom out a bit. Show you where that fell. two pigeons here, same again about 25 meters, nothing far really. Zoom in and see if I can uh, get one of them again with the R10. These sort of shots are pretty easy really with this rifle. It's a quarter of a mil dot, half a mil dot below its high. Pretty simple shot. Just zoom out straight off the roof, and that one there, you pin straight through the head. Another nice kill. Just blowing in the wind, got tail feathers, beautiful shot. This wood is about 20 metres, so I'll give it a bit of an old under. Well there's a the wood pigeon I've just shot out the tree. As you saw I give it about a mil dot old under because it was only at sort of like 20 meters ish. But nevertheless it was a good clean kill for the R10 and it fell straight out the tree. So I think I'm going to retrieve that now. Then I'm going to breast it. Then I'm going to have that in some soup later on with a bit of lemongrass and that would be a lovely Thai soup. Okay, so the favorite pigeons about 30 meters. I'm going to go for a heart shot. Beautiful. Oh, the about a mil dot old. About half a mil dot old one. Brilliant. Straight down, crashing through the trees. Okay, here's that pigeon I just shot out the tree. The clinical head shot. You can see, there it is. Stone dead. It's another humane shot. That's a lovely shot, that's gone straight off the roof. And there's the white feral pigeon just shot off the roof. That was hit. Bang in the head.